Hey, my butterflies, it's your girl Tina here, and I'm here with my July submission to the Prima Dial collaboration. This collaboration um, is hosted by Dare to Be Creative, D Special Things, and Terry E01. Hey, ladies. All right, I want to go ahead on and dive in. This month's theme was summertime. Okay, and I'm not going to show my dials because I've already did a video to show you all of the dials that I have in my collection. However, I do have a new edition. I um purchased the Planner Stamp Crafty Girl Craft Day and absolutely, oh my goodness, love this. Now, you all, I'm not a planner. I'm not into planning. I don't do planning and I was not going to get the planner stamps until I saw this one right here. You know, this is my favorite Prima Dial out of all of Julie's collection. This is my favorite one. When I saw her, I knew I was going to get this stamp. Now I done fell in love with the craft girl. Oh my goodness. She is just so adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, um, since I've been stamping these two, I think I want to get one or two of the other ones. I'm not for sure, but for this one, I'm in love. So I pulled this out and I used um, I used this one in my project this go round. All right, then I used a stamp set I cracked open for the very first time that I got from Tuesday morning a while back. Really, really nice. This is what it looks like, you all. You probably can see it better without this plastic. So this is what they look like. And I used the smile one. Okay, on this project right here. Then I use this um, stamping block. Now, the reason why I really want to show you the stamping block is because I have been showing on some of my other videos how to do repeat stamping. And um, I want to mention with the repeat stamping, it's best that you get a stamping block that fits your stamp kind of perfectly you know not too large because when you get when you use a stamping block that's too large it's harder for you to do the repeat stamping is what i'm saying so i wanted to show this because this was like ideal size for this stamp and you'll see the results okay these are the inks that i use from my uh stash amuse studio i use the bubble gum and the evergreen Okay, and then lastly, I use my archiving ink. So let me show you what I did for my project. Um, this go round. I made a TN insert. Yes, I made a TN insert. You all are gonna be from, be able to recognize this paper. I did not pull the paper out. I'm, I apologize, but this is one of those um, uh hot baths from michael's paper pad with the wild milling and all of the summer stuff that's in it so that's what i chose to use to create this tn and this is from the paper pad summer loving and here she go my favorite girl that's her right there i love her love her love her love her all right let's open up i just added some paper okay you all i'm gonna show you this first before i go to that page on this page, I did some, some sewing. I wanted to bring out my sewing machine. I did sewing on this page as well. Okay. And then here's the back of that page. So, because I sewed on the page, this side was the raw stitch. So, what I wanted to do was I wanted to use her. And so, I just incorporated the colors. And I'm sorry, but I also used the pickle raspberry distress stain and I used uh mold line okay and I just took that and I just rubbed it on the paper and then I stamped out all of these little splotches that came off of the craft day stamp time to create and the little paint brush all of that came from that Julie Nutty craft day stamp didn't it turn out really really nice i just love it so i put that there 
And then here's my boy Toby. Now, Master Teacher said, I know you love Toby because you use him all the time. Yes, Master Teacher, I do use Toby all the time. Toby is my favorite mail stamp out of Julie's collection. Love him, love him, love him. So you just got the stitching, and then I put some washi tape up here of the watermelon. This is a sheet of uh, copy paper, and I just stamped just her head part and her shoulders. Put some more washi tape here. And then over here, I stamped again. Love her. Really, really nice. Now, you all do know there's people that's like in Texas, um, Arizona. They still wear boots in the summertime. So, don't try to go ham on your girl talking about why she use a stamp with boots. People wear boots year-round. Just thought I'd add that because I know I got a few haters that always want to try to send me a private message to tell me my mistakes. Okay, so that was not a mistake. I just want you to know people wear boots year-round. Thought I'd add that. I put here a um, glassine bag that I got gifted to me from um, what is Crafty Irina. I miss her. She's coming back slowly. Um after uh you know grieving over her mom but i thought about her and i wanted to use this bag so this insert is more kind of i was trying to make like a junk journal type insert and uh crafty irena i was looking at some of her videos because i just you know missed her and that's what she's really into um junk journeys journals jamie um, Poet Spice, she's into junk journals. And so I just wanted to um, try my little hand at a uh, insert junk journey. I keep saying insert junk journey. It's insert junk journal. Yes. This tug is going to fall submission. Get in order. So I put this bag here with one of the cutouts. Hello Summer. I think it goes beautiful with this. And then here's another sheet from that paper pad with the Walla Miller seeds, Toby, at the top. And then we have my girl here, love her, and um, washi tape, washi tape. Now, throughout this whole insert, I noticed that some of my stamping was not that good. It's a junk journal. And all other junk journeys that I've seen, nothing is perfect. Everything is out of order. So, you know, I'm not upset. Any other project, I probably would have did it all over again because I want everything to be perfect. But this is a junk journal. So here we go. Here's the page. Once again, I told you I stitched on this side. This side was the raw stitching. So I wanted to put something to make the raw stitching part of the page so i did the repeat stamp again with the pink and green and that smile stamp and this just turned out so nice and so beautiful that pink and green just goes together so well so i wanted to tie everything together and the pages that i chose to use out of the paper pad were pages with the colors pink green and white and black so this is what i came up with and i think it came out really really nice Okay, so this is watermelons. I love watermelons, like one of my favorite fruits. Oh my goodness. I didn't do any stamping on this page. I just want to leave this page open. You could put a pocket here. You could put ephemera here. You can do whatever you want. You can journal. I just wanted to leave an open page since it already had a print. And then here's the back side of the repeat stamp page. Okay. Again, I left this open because I said I don't want to stamp up everything because the stamps were kind of big. But so this is open and you, you know, have choice of free reign what to do there. And then here's uh, the other boy that I have. Really, really nice. I think it fit in really good with the Walla Miller seed effect. I love the way that this page came out. All right. Here's the other side of that glassine bag. And I just cut, I just cut this, a sliver off to open it up and this is a cutout from the um, paper pad here's the other side of that uh, sheet of copy paper stamp my girl here halfway put some washi tape love that and then washi tape on this side free open page another um, cutout 
Toby again. I love this um, green, yellow ombre paper. I love that effect. And then here's the back side of the craft girl. And then I added some sheets of notebook paper and you back at the end. So yes, this is my project for this month. Summer loving. I love it, love it, love it. Tell me what you think about this little junk journal. I didn't put a lot of stuff in here that I've seen be placed in junk journals, but you know, I'm I'm new at that type of craft, and so I just want to see if I can do it. Some of them I like, and then some junk journals I look at and I say, no, that's junk. I can't I can't do you know uh, no, I don't do junk. Uh-uh. But some junk journals I look at and it'd be like, wow, that's really, 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 really nice. So this is a junk journal that I guess you can build on because it's not a lot of stuff. You could put a lot of tip-ins or other um, things that you want. You could staple things in. Yes. All right. So here we go. This is my submission for this month's um, collaboration piece. This is what we're going to do. I want to bless somebody with this junk journal. Now, if you're going to be crit criticizing my junk journal, please just pass this opportunity up. But if you really, really want to um, embrace this <laughs> creation that I done created and concocted up here, if I could use that word, leave me a comment in the um, description box below and tell me what would you put inside of this junk journal. Tell me, what would you put inside of this junk journal? Okay, I'm going to come back. I'm going to um, pull a name, and then I'm going to mail this out to you. Tell me, what would you put in this junk journal? What would you have added? I don't need you to point out my flaws or what you did not like. I'm asking you to tell me, what would you have put inside of this junk journal? All right, y'all, I'm going to raise up out of here. Until next time, be blessed, keep creating, and, uh, yeah, enjoy your summer.